What's going on everyone? Happy Easter. I figured I would do a video on the Inspire 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro. I always call my Mavic 3 the Mavic 3 Pro just because I've seen people do it and I kind of figured since the Classic is out it kind of is a more pro version but apparently I stand corrected because there is an actual Mavic 3 Pro being released and it sounds pretty darn exciting. So this is Drone XL showing a picture of the Mavic 3 Pro with an RC Pro, which I don't really want, but I'm hoping we can actually buy these drones bundled since a lot of people may have an RC N1 or an RC Pro. So I'm hoping they don't force us to buy a top tier, really expensive option like they did with the Cine, where we basically had to spend $6,000 to buy one bundle and one bundle only. So I'm hoping we can buy the drone alone. That would be really great because I already have a bunch of batteries for my Mavic 3, like five batteries, and I got uh, controllers and all that kind of stuff. But let's take a look at it and see. This is the Mavic 3 Pro. So you see we have three cameras as opposed to two. And if you're looking at the Classic, you have one. And I would avoid the Classic. To me, this is the weakest of the links with the Mavic 3 line and the Mavic 3 regular one will be, you know, at least you have the optical half inch sensor, seven times zoom, which is really great. And I always talk about that and rave how great that is to give creative B-roll footage for your clients and that kind of thing. And you really can make your money back very quickly, which is one job showing some people some really different takes and some different b-roll shots and it just gives you a lot more flexibility and creativity and now with this mavic 3 pro we're going to have these guys so this is xavier from drone x factor i think this may be accurate i'm not sure but the four third is not the wild angle but the wide angle so it should be very actually the same as the mavic 3 current version and then the half inch sensor which is actually what the seven times zoom is on the um, current Mavic 3. This half inch sensor is going to be the seven times zoom and then you're going to get a one inch 50 millimeter zoom. So you've got three different creative options and a one inch sensor is pretty amazing. So you have a 50 millimeter quality image which is great because the seven times zoom which is only a half inch sensor on the Mavic 3 current version is actually pretty darn good and image quality is determined by the lens quality and also the sensor size so having a one inch sensor with the 50 mil equivalent is really great and when i had my inspire 2 which is a micro four thirds because i had the x5s camera the zen muse you have to multiply so i had a 25 millimeter lens which was a 50 mil equivalent and i used it all the time and it was really great so if you go over here, say I go to my Drobo, I go to DJI, I go to Inspire 2, um, like this shot over here, a lot of this was probably a 50 mil lens. I believe I used a 25 millimeter Olympus, but if you see, it gives you a nice compression and just a really nice feel and everyone doesn't want that typical drone ultra wide look especially if you're working with the dp or you're working on bigger jobs they want you to have something with some flexibility and that's why the inspire 2 is such a great drone because you can have different lens options and that's a whole other thing so the inspire 2 was amazing and it still is amazing it has old technology like light bridge for the transmission so I would imagine the Inspire 3, if we go back jumping around a little bit, this is going to arrive on April 13th, which is only 10, 11, 12, four days away. So that's pretty darn amazing that this guy is coming out and most likely it's going to have the ability to use the um, Ronin 4D, like the X9 lenses. So I would imagine that's going to be the case. So as you see here, we have the X9 8K and the X9 6K. So I'd imagine it's going to be some kind of variation with that, 
with newer transmission and all kinds of updated stuff to stay current, but I can't imagine the Inspire 3 being that different than the Inspire 2 other than the transmission, the camera, the lens quality, and I would imagine some other stuff like tracking and all those kinds of things, but it's definitely a killer drone and I really, really did like the drone. I'll show you a couple little things. So as I said, this was essentially a 50 mil equivalent, I believe, and you can see it gives you a really nice compression, a really nice look. And this is a really hard shot to get because when you're shooting and you gotta follow a moving truck and get everything perfect and keep this little back area, breathing room, the exact same, flying sideways, this was a hard thing. I had like 20 people looking over my shoulder and was pretty high stress, but regardless, got it done. Wasn't perfect, but I got enough footage for them to be happy, so that was that. But you can see the Inspire 2, you got to lug around a big GPC case or something like this, and it just takes up a lot of room. It's not that hard to put together. I was able to put it together and get it up and running within probably five minutes, 10 minutes tops, but I would say five minutes. But with the Inspire series drones, because of the size, it just takes that much more energy. So if you're seeing a shot on the side of the road or something, you may not be so inclined to go and grab this huge case if this is the only thing you have with you. So if you are carrying a drone like this, I would definitely opt to carry a smaller drone like a Mini 3 Pro or something just for those little shots that you don't want to have to take this whole behemoth out <laughs> because it is a pain in the butt. So you have that. You know, you got this drone. So here's the Inspire 2. No lens on it, but it's going to probably remain relatively the same. I would imagine the batteries may be up, improved upon. I would imagine the Cine SSD will be the more current ones that are being used in the Ronin. Uh, what else is there? But I mean, you can see this drone is just badass. I mean, this is the X5S. I think this was the 25 mil lens that I had on there. So it was again, a 50 mil equivalent. And you can see some of the shots. Let me go over here. I'm backing some stuff up currently too. Uh, this is not Chicago. Let me try to find Chicago. Where are you? So you can see, I believe this was the 25 mil with the 50 mil equivalent. But you just see it gives you a much more compressed look and it just looks great. So to have a one inch sensor with the 50 mil lens is going to be amazing and it's easily worth a thousand dollars. You can make that up in one job offering a few different options for lens compressions and lens options. You don't even need to necessarily tell them you're using this one drone. You can say you had to use a bunch of drones, but you can see, I don't know, I think this was, God, I can't tell because the 45 mil I had, the Olympus was a 90 mil and that was a really big compression. So let me see. I believe this was the 25 mil with the 50 mil equivalent. I, I don't know why I need to see, but you can kind of get the idea. Let me go ahead and show you, hold on. Do, 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 do. Over here. No, that's not it, but you get the idea. When you have more compression and more lens options, you're just making things look a lot cooler. And I mean, you, whoop, I just kind of blasted that shot. But just look at that. Look at that quality. It's so nice to have some flexibility other than just a wide angle lens. So the classic, definitely not the way to go. I would avoid that drone altogether. I would either buy a Mavic 3 or I'd buy the new Mavic 3 Pro. I think it's going to be around 3500 I am not sure. But whatever it is, I probably will buy it because it is worth it to me. Because I've had the Inspire 2 experience with four or five different lens options and it really just widens your whole entire creative range when you're shooting. So with that being said, what else is there? What can we talk about with that? Do, 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 do. Let's go over back again to the little options. So a one inch sensor, which is larger than the seven time zoom in the Mavic 3 current version. And that looks great. So let me try to find some Mavic 3, hold on a second. I kind of trying to organize some DJI stuff. DJI, Mavic 3, okay, let's talk about the Mavic 3 Cine. 
So I didn't even really talk about that. That was my first drone that I got with the Mavic 3 series. So here we go, the Mavic 3 Cine, and this came bundled with the RC Pro. And we know that this has a one terabyte SSD drive, which failed on me when it crashed. So there's some pros and cons to the internal SSD drive. The pro is that it's nice to not have to worry about having a memory card, but the con is that if something fails, guess what? You're basically S out of luck. DJI was good enough to be able to recover the footage for me, but it was a pain in the butt. And you have a lot more expensive drone that you're flying around and you still only have these two options. You got the micro four thirds, larger wide angle field of view, and then you got this zoom lens, which is a seven times half inch sensor. And this is roughly $6,000 to buy this thing in the bundle, which comes with everything. Basically, it comes with too much, but there's the drone, that's the Cine. Why would you spend that much money on the Cine unless you really need ProRes footage? If you do need ProRes footage, I understand ProRes footage gives you that much more flexibility and some clients demand it. So there is that and you will know if you do need the Cine because you would have requirements that you've had ProRes footage or that kind of workflow in the past. So that's that option. But again, a lot more expensive. I think you can buy the drone possibly on itself for like $3,000. They do sell those on Amazon I've seen from legitimate buyers. And what else is there? <laughs> the Mini 3 Cine. I don't know if I sh have a picture of it crashed. But yeah, this thing crashed and had a whole kind of bad experience but this guy again probably is not what you would want unless you're needing pro as footage so that is the mavic 3 cine let me try to find that's what i was going to do i was going to go over here mavic 3 and let me see if i have anything do 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 with the seven time zoom so this is the seven time zoom so you can see there's some compression. It's not going to be the best because it's a half inch sensor, right? So let's find a little better shot. Um, let me try to find something shot with the seven time zoom. Okay, so this is the seven time zoom. So you can see this is the seven time zoom. Pretty darn cool. It's not easy to fly because you have such magnification, but look at that. That's pretty darn awesome to have that for some B-roll footage, right? That does not look bad. And I think it did better than the Autel with their zoom, which was, I believe, a four-time zoom. But this looks really good, and this is a half-inch sensor. So now try to imagine a 50 mil with a one-inch sensor and this and the wide angle lens, which is the best because it's a micro four thirds larger sensor, the largest of the three. So again, it's gonna be pretty kick-ass and it's worth upgrading to me. So I'll be selling my current Mavic 3, which is perfect. If anyone is interested, let me know. And yeah, that's kind of a little rundown. The Inspire 3 is gonna be really cool to see and hear about because we've been waiting years for this thing. I had my Inspire 2, I loved it, but I didn't find myself flying it as much as I would like to, and I knew an Inspire 3 most likely was gonna happen, and I did not wanna be sitting with older technology. When I was on this job with the Inspire 2, this truck shoot, which was you know a pretty decent job, not crazy, like a $5,000 one day shoot, but I had to do this kind of you know big DP and big crew and all these people on set, and I needed ProRes, and I needed some lens options, but it was definitely not great to fly because I was having transmission issues. It's old technology. I had range extenders on it. And I just wasn't super confident with it. And I produced good enough shots to get the job done. But at the same time, it's a lot of drone. You got a lot to dial in. It's a lot more drone. Let me rephrase that and kind of stress that. So the Inspire series drone is just so much more involved there's a lot more flexibility you got dual operators you got all kinds of stuff going on so you definitely need to spend more time flying it and learning how to fly the inspire series so you basically need to be not only maybe a licensed or a certified 107 pilot you need to be an inspire pilot like an inspire 2 pilot because it is a different drone to fly and it's a different drone to get really good at and to utilize 
that drone to its full potential. I barely tapped into it. So with that being said, yeah, it's kind of, you know, going to be cool to see what is going to be on the Inspire 3. I'm not going to be able to buy one right now. Maybe one day I will when the bugs are ironed out and I make some decent money on some little jobs coming up. But regardless, this guy will be ordered immediately and I will do some reviews and put it through the ringer and it is definitely going to happen. I'm sure some influencers already have this drone. I talked to a couple and they can't say anything because of a non-disclosure, but I kind of know they got it. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope this helps, but this drone definitely is going to kick ass and think about the lenses as more creative options to offer your clients. This wide angle lens drone look gets really old really quick it's boring the cinematographers the people that are in the videography and different kind of real estate stuff whatever it may be you want options you want different lenses and this is going to be a really cool drone that's small footprint something that we're all familiar with already we probably have the batteries and the controllers and now we have three different lens options and the one lens that is added which is the 50 mil has actually a bigger sensor than the seven times zoom so yeah definitely seems very cool very promising and i can't wait to see this guy release probably more than the inspire 3 the inspire 3 is just going to be kind of fun to look at and dream at but i can't afford that so it's not a reality it's more of a dream drone but again I always dreamt to get the Inspire 2. I ended up finally getting it. I had probably 12000 to 14000 invested in that guy. And it was just too much money, really, honestly, to feel comfortable with sitting. But it was a great drone, super cool, really fun. And let me see if I can go back and show you the Inspire 2. And, I mean, you see just the ability to go... You know, this is what it looks like on the job. So essentially, you know, I got LAN camera 2 and A7S 3 But you have this guy putting on the lens. You just got to put on the props, put the batteries in, set up the controller, get to the Go4 app. And that's also another thing. I'm curious what app the Inspire 3 is going to use. If it's going to utilize the Fly app, I would imagine it would. Or maybe there's going to be an entirely new app for this. So that's something that I'm kind of curious to see because the Go4 app kind of was not great for me. No, some people really love it. I personally don't. And yeah, that's it. I mean, this is what it's going to look like when you're carrying it. You have essentially the drone. I had different antenna for the range extenders. You have the remote. So I'm sure the remote's going to change. And probably everything's going to change up a little bit. But the drone itself is solid. You got the carbon arms and everything. And yeah, I think I have a little something else. Let me show you. Is it here? Images. I think it's over here. Don't I have video somewhere? I thought I had video. I don't know. But regardless, the drone's very cool. But when I finally got the Inspire 2, the coolness never really wore off. I guess it did. It kind of did wear off. It was very awesome to fly but it has such a large presence and footprint that people do kind of get taken back because it's just a huge drone and it has a menacing look. So I would imagine it's going to be quieter than the Inspire 2. So I'm sure that's going to be something that's going to be a nice addition to it as well. I'm babbling now. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're going to buy an Inspire 3, if you're going to buy a Mavic 3 Pro, if you don't care about any of them. Let me know your thoughts. If you like the Mavic 3, if you like the classic, whatever, whatever. And yeah, happy Easter, guys. Stay healthy and aloha. Bye.